Hey everybody and welcome back to The Debrief. So if this is your first time hearing about The Debrief, basically this is a concentrated version of all of the dispatches on bikepacking.com. And what are the dispatches on bikepacking.com? Well, these are either press releases or news from brands that want to share things with you all, the reader. So I haven't done one of these in three weeks, so there's a lot to talk about, including a slick new lightweight tent, some new bikes, a day dedicated to one gear, an update to an awesome product in The Dumpling, and much more. Let's get into it. So if you like what you see in our videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you are reminded when we publish a new video. And of course, if you want to help support us a little bit more, you can do that by signing up for the Bikepacking Collective. The Bikepacking Collective is bikepacking.com's annual membership that not only helps support this YouTube channel, everything you see on bikepacking.com, but it also gives back to you. It includes monthly giveaways, industry discounts, and of course, our Bikepacking Journal, which is shipped to your door twice a year. For more information or just to sign up, there's a link provided below. As always, thank you all so much for the support. Despite COVID-19 delays, many bike companies are still figuring out how to release new bikes. And while BombTrack hasn't really updated bikes in their current lineup, they just unveiled new build kits and colorways. They updated six new bikes in their lineup, and all of these bikes will be available globally this month. One of BombTrack's most popular bike, the Hook, the Hook EXT and the Hook EXTC get a few frame tweaks, new colors, and refined build kits. New for 2022, the Arise SG is a drop bar equipped version of the flat bar Arise geared, a steel frame that is built up around a wide range micro shift advent 1x10 driver. The bike is size specific, so 650B for smaller bikes and 700C for those larger bikes. It comes with a nice gloss cobalt green paint job and the Arise SG SG retails for 2065 USD. BombTrack also updated the Monroe AL or aluminum with new paint and a build kit and also introduced the Monroe SG, which is the drop bar companion of the Monroe AL. Both the drop bar and flat bar Monroe are under 1500 USD, which make this a great entry level bikepacking bike or just an entry level bike in general. New for 2022, Tarp Tent just released the Rainbow LI, which is their lightest arch pole supported shelter they've ever offered. Made from Dyneema and weighing in at just over 600 grams. The Rainbow LI has a single side access door with vestibule and it's freestanding with a trekking pole or optional support pole, or it can be staked out at all corners for a non-freestanding and more lightweight setup. The Rainbow LI comes with an integrated bug net, and it uses a hybrid double wall design with a bathtub floor to keep the weight down. The tent is fully waterproof and comes fully seam taped and has a floor area of 91 centimeters by 224 centimeters. But all super lightweight tents do come at a price point. The Tarp Tent Rainbow LI retails for 649 USD. But to me, thinking about it, that just might be worth an ultralight shelter. Yeah, this is not a mid, this is a complete shelter. But if you are looking for a cheaper option, Tarp Tent basically makes this exact same thing in a nylon tent for half the price. Check it out. International Single Speed Day happened this past Tuesday, November 2nd and it got everybody pretty excited about the one gear. I was scrolling through Instagram and saw just so many posts about folks loving their single speeds. Last year, Paul Price, the man, the myth, the legend behind Paul Components and maker of the very first single speed mountain bike hub and his friend Amanda declared that November 2nd be International Single Speed Day. It also happens to be both of their birthdays. So happy belated birthday to Paul and Amanda. It was also election day here in the United States. So many people got on their single speeds to either drop off their mail-in ballot or vote in person. Next year, mark your calendars for November 2nd, which falls on a Wednesday. It is International Single Speed Day and also Hump Day. Every year, 45 North always shares a new product with us during the fall because, well, they're a winter-specific brand. 
This year, they just overhauled the Wolfgar boot and unveiled the all-new Ragnarok Tall for shoulder season riding, as well as announced the leather version of the Sturmfist 5s. 45 North claims that the Wolfgar boot is their most advanced winter cycling boot. While some updates, such as the faux fur liner that wicks moisture better than the previous version, seems promising, some of the commenters from the comment section are a little skeptical on the bow up for winter specific cycling shoes. And I understand this, especially in negative 40 degrees in Alaska, dealing with overflow. Well, you could freeze that boa pretty easily, but boas have also come a long way. Maybe a more popular shoe is the Ragnarok, and I've personally been using the Ragnarok for the past three years, and specifically quite a bit last winter here on the Front Range of Colorado, where it was pretty mild. 45 North mentions that the Ragnarok Tall is a shoulder season and mild winter boot designed for all forms of riding, including gravel and commuting. Built on the same sole and bottom as the Ragnaroks that we've come to love, the Ragnarok Tall is constructed to be waterproof with more protection in the form of a high neoprene cuff. The neoprene cuff opens up like a book and allows for easy foot entry, which I appreciate. I'm personally excited to get my foot in the Ragnarok Tall because now I can actually stuff my actual pant inside the neoprene cuff, so I'm completely protected, which is something I couldn't do in the regular Ragnarok. Rock Ice is on the verge of re-releasing the Dumpling and Big Dumpling in both black and coyote colors. We're pretty big fans of the Dumpling and Big Dumpling here at bikepacking.com. Originally created by Porcelain Rocket, they are one of the only fully waterproof hip packs on the market. As with the other Porcelain Rocket bags, which are now part of Rockgeist's lineup, Rockgeist is steadily re-releasing after transitioning production from Canada to Asheville, North Carolina. I've actually personally never used a dumpling, but I know Miles and Logan both love theirs, and I'm personally really excited to get my hands on one so I can store the camera that's shooting me right now, my Sony a7 III. So every Friday we share a reader's rig, which is basically you, the reader or viewer, submitting a rig, a bikepacking rig, to us at bikepacking.com, and then we share it with the world. A few weeks ago we shared a beauty, and I think it's worth mentioning. Oliver Moly of Victory Cycles in France shared the prototype hardtail he built to help shift his passion for through hiking onto two wheels. The steel hardtail is custom to Oliver's needs and desires. It includes custom front and rear racks, plenty of mounting points, and geometry that can not only climb well, but also looks like it can shred the downhills. This bike is a thing of beauty, and if you want to share your thing of beauty, your own rig, you can do so by clicking on any of the reader's rigs on our website, scroll to the bottom, and you can submit your own rig that way. Finally, I want to leave you with one last thing this week, and that is the website improvements on bikepacking.com. In case you missed it, we've been slowly rolling out some big site improvements over the past few months, and we have plenty more to come. Among the latest updates is a new navigation that improves the overall tablet and laptop browsing experience. The new menu under the Explore tab now provides granular options to drill down into several expanded and reworked categories, allowing better sorting to dig into our body of work that expands more than nine years and 4,000 posts. We've also updated the mobile navigation, recategorizing a lot of our content for better organization. Additionally, we added a feature to display relevant pages, posts, and routes into the grid at the bottom of selected articles, something that's been on the list for a long time. We have a lot more updates coming for both our membership page and of course our roots page, so stay tuned for that. And I wanna give Logan a big high five because he's been working tirelessly on these updates. And if you notice, definitely give him some kudos because he's been working his butt off. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions regarding anything I just talked about, you know where to leave it in the comment section below. As always, until next time, pedal further.